Was Yasuke a coward? This question has been proposed. The bodyguard let his lord get killed. That's what they're saying. A few things on this matter. Firstly, Nobunaga had only a few hundred men. He did not expect to be betrayed. How was he to defend his lord from an army of thousands? I'm not sure. Nor would the lord risk being captured himself as they tried to escape. As it states, Nobunaga struggled with spear and bow. And those few hundred did what they could, and the lord got bloody himself with the spear. But he had to face the facts. It was over. A man he considered a fool had ended him. Secondly, on the escape, Yasuke could have rode for the coast and got out of there. But he didn't. He returned to his lord's son as ordered with his lord's head. And lastly, as the priest wrote, Yasuke there fought hard. In the coffer that Alessandro Villaganano gave to Nubunaga on his request after his death, went to the mansion of his heir and fought there for a long time. But when one of Ikechi's vassals got close and asked him to give up his sword, he handed it over. The vassals went and asked Ikiche what to do with the coffer. He said the coffer is like an animal and knows nothing, and he's not Japanese, so don't kill him, and give him to the church of the Indian Padre, or priest. With this, we were a bit relieved. Now my thoughts on this. Firstly, it shows the fighting Yasuke did. It also shows Yasuke was asked to stop fighting. This shows he must have been fighting hard and then had some sort of change of mind because he didn't want to die. Maybe, uh, I don't think so. He couldn't know what uh, it meant if he was captured. So being raised a soldier, um, it's most likely that he knew that he would die. What most likely happened was there were women, children, and old people in that temple that would have died too. And he may have been given the option to spare their lives to put down his own sword. Um, of course, also in this line, there's Akichi's blatant racism. This was probably told to him about Africans by the priests. Um, Akichi had never seen an African before and knew nothing about black people. So where would he learn any of this at? Um, most people in Japan were coming to see Yasuke. Uh, the records show this, um, and they were happy to see him. So this would imply even more so that the priesthood were not happy about this black man rising above them and doing well. This may also be the reason he returned Yasuke to the priest. Uh, the worst punishment for a former slave is not death, it's to be returned to your master. So, it's more than likely that the priests were upset about Yas Yasuke's rise, and they even got into Kiche's ear at some point, or he had asked the priest about him, you know, this black man, where does he come from, what is he, is he really an Oni? Told him, hey, they, were, they are slaves, they're a slave race, you, you know what it is. Especially in the 1500s, they had defeated us and just really started to get into it attacking Africa from all sides. So, the priest definitely thought lowly of them, calling them coffer slaves. So this is most likely where he got it from, and uh, after they defeated him, that was the worst thing ever, is returning Yasuke to his former masters. Um, was that the end of the African Samurai? We don't really know. We don't know what happens next after that. But there is some evidence. 